A really tough day, very extreme conditions. You'd go from no one to 20 knots in the space of 10 seconds. Huge shifts and massive, massive gusts. Yeah, it was exciting, very hard to read on the water that were going to be so dangerous. The whole fleet's just experienced carnage. Yesterday was just such a massive day. Just seeing Camise kind of fall from one side in the boat, kind of just missing his head, that was a pretty full on uh, capsize those guys had. And they took the biscuit yesterday, and that was impressive. We were right beside the wave when they capsized, I saw it all happen, and uh, yeah, so it was pretty surreal, really. It makes you feel sick when you're watching guys falling underneath the boat. Shook us up for sure. Yesterday we had bad luck because we had no chance. The buff hit us and we did everything what we can do, but it was not enough. All four of us were hanging on because we knew what can happen from the last capsize. Lucky we had our life jackets and helmets on and uh, nobody get hurt. And we knew the breeze was coming, we got all the weight as far back as we could, but when it hit, the, the bars just went down and down and down, and you get to that point where the rudder's out of the water, there's nothing you can do except hope. Then you get to the point where you're, you're just looking for your, your exit route. I got a good hold on the trampoline, a few of the other guys managed to get clear quickly, so uh, fortunately for us, no, no injuries on board. went for it and it just uh, didn't work out. Didn't realize that the wind was so strong, you know, I felt kind of safe even if other boats have capsized, that should have ring a bell. And then we did capsize, so, um, so we can say we are very lucky that we didn't break the mast. A lucky escape also for Oman Air's David Carr. Yesterday's crash saw him rush to hospital, but today he's back to watch the racing. It was a rough day for the project yesterday, two capsizers and an injury. I was only out there for half of the first race and I got squashed. It certainly knocked the lads from what I hear. The best way to bounce back is just to go out and perform the next day and clear your head. And that's exactly what the 11 Strong Fleet did. Very different conditions today, but the competition was fierce and intense. Coming out top after a series of match, fleet and speed races was the Italian team, Luna Rossa. Yeah, yesterday was awesome fun today. Totally different day, but um, yeah, it was a pretty good and successful day for us. Luna Ross is leading, but only just, after Emirates Team New Zealand suffered a bad day, losing the lead they've held since day one, and with a lingi pushing them both all the way. Yeah, we are really happy we stay on the second place for tomorrow, the game is uh, still open. That's it from Qingdao on the penultimate day of racing, where five boats are still well in contention for tomorrow's title.